The Biotechnology Center is an in-house laboratory providing valuable scientific data to aid Panas plant breeders and production department in their endeavor to produce high-performance seed. The Electrophoresis Laboratory was established in 1992 for routine genetic purity analysis. In 1997, the laboratory functions expanded with the introduction of DNA analysis. In 2000, the laboratory was upgraded to accommodate more staff members and a higher sample throughput. The laboratory maintained international seed testing standards by constantly upgrading their methods. This led to a shift from the traditional starch gel electrophoresis approach to a more finely tuned and cost-effective ultra-thin layer isoelectric focusing used for genetic purity analysis. This technology added tremendous value to the function and productivity of the laboratory, which resulted in a further increase in the influx of samples. As a result, a further expansion was deemed necessary. In 2005, the laboratory was relocated to a bigger facility. This facility was renamed the Biotechnology Center. Today, the Biotechnology Center functions as a multifaceted scientific establishment which PANA has come to rely on tremendously. The facility provides valuable data generated from in-depth protein and DNA analysis. Protein and DNA analysis forms part of the quality control and research mechanisms of PANA. Routine protein analysis is used for testing genetic purity of hybrid seed, variety verification and line purification. Genetic purity analysis is performed on all commercial hybrids produced by Panar's production department. Upon passing stringent quality standards, seed can then be packaged by the factory. The in-house quality standards set by Panar meet international standards for hybrid seed production and sometimes even surpass them. Due to the implementation of such high quality standards, one can be assured of consistent high quality seed. Variety verification and line purifications aid the breeders in their endeavor to produce novel hybrids at a quicker pace than traditional plant breeding techniques allow. With access to such technology, breeders are able to keep up with the pace of international competitors. In keeping with the growing trend of genetically modified crops, Panar has successfully entered this emerging market resulting in the introduction of GM testing at the Biotechnology Center. The laboratory employs two main techniques to monitor GM crop production. Enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, commonly known as ELISA, is used to determine the presence or absence of the BT and RR genes in maize and soybean. The second technique, namely real-time PCR, is used to aid plant breeders in their breeding programs. As there is a huge international demand for certified GM-free crops, the laboratory has also incorporated this need into its future services. On the DNA level, marker-assisted selection has become a routine analysis for disease screening on various crops. Breeders benefit from this service as it provides them with information regarding new cultivars with regard to resistance and susceptibility to various diseases. In addition, this type of molecular assisted breeding reduces selection times and minimizes the need for exposure to pathogens. Another advantage is that it allows the breeder to screen larger populations in a minimum space of time. DNA sampling occurs at the first true leaf stage to ensure quality DNA devoid of environmental influences. DNA fingerprinting is a powerful tool used in the laboratory that provides information with regards to genetic diversity within a plant population. Fingerprinting data provides invaluable assistance to the breeders with regard to their parental lines to ensure hybrid vigor. Another benefit of DNA fingerprinting is the creation of a database for various crops in order to protect Panar's germplasm. DNA analysis is used as a confirmation of protein results for variety verification. 
The staff of the Biotechnology Center is constantly improving on the current analytical techniques employed, as well as introducing new techniques that increase efficiency, accuracy, and reproducibility. New techniques are only implemented as or when required by the laboratory's clients.